Prasarana Malaysia Berhad is revising fast structures for LRT and monorail services around Kuala Lumpur. The distance-based fast structure will take effect on December 2nd, is expected to result in some commuters experiencing fare increases and reduction for some routes. The new prices will be based on the number of kilometres travelled and also a special extra charge called the Transit Acquirer System, which was introduced by the Land Public Transport Commission, or SPAD. We are not raising the fares. We are rationalizing and rationalizing the fares. Because there are some fees, some fees, some fees. So if you say increase the fares, it's not focusing on that, the third, one, one third of the group, right? So it's about streamlining, streamlining the fares and that. While doing so, we are encouraging the public to opt for the smart service of the product. The price adjustment will see ticket prices for the two rail services to range between one ringgit and four ringgit forty cent. As we encourages commuters to shift towards using cashless payment methods, the touch and go and soon to be introduced my rapid smart weekly and monthly cards to enjoy cheaper fares. The new LRT and monorail fare, effective 2nd December, provides consistent and equitable fare structure, especially for those regular commuters. Prasarana justified this exercise based on the current economic situation in order to provide a better and improved transportation infrastructure for all. To know more on which routes are affected by the new fare structure, head over to www.myrapid.com.my. Kereta P Tanah Melayu Berhad or KTM has also announced that it will increase its commuter services within Klang Valley to a maximum of ringgit ten cent per trip, effective December 2nd. Shahira Hamid, The HTV.